What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video, we're taking a look at five mics under $500 in 2022. While I meant to do one of these every year, I realized I haven't done one since 2019. And of course, this list has changed since then because some mics have gone up in price. So in 2019, the last time I did this, we had the Lawton Audio LA320, uh, the Vanguard V4, the Roswell Mini K87, uh, the SE Electronics SE2200, and the Dizengolf LD1948. So now in 22, we have to move some of those mics off of this list and bring in some new ones. So the Lawton Audio LA320 tube mic, uh, it was $499 uh, when it was originally announced and stayed that way for a few years. But I believe it was this year it actually got a price increase to $678, uh, kind of weird price point to me. I don't know why they don't just go up to $699, but $678 right now. Uh, the Vanguard V4, uh, Vanguard introduced the Gen 2 V4 in 2021. That had a price increase up to $699 from $399. So the V4 was $399. The V4 Gen 2 is now $699. The SE Electronics 2200, uh, that still is uh, $299. Uh, so that is still on this list. The Dizengolf LD1948, uh, there was only a limited number of those made, uh, so that mic is no longer available. And the Roswell Mini K87, it is still under $500, uh, coming in at $439, but we'll be replacing that with a new Mini K mic that was released this year. So let's take a look at the lineup and what we have now. So here's our lineup of five mics in 2022 that's under $500. Starting with the left, we have the SE Electronics 2200. Uh, this is a mic that's consistently been on this list. It's $299. It has a negative 10 and negative 20 dB pad. It's cardioid only, and it has a 80 hertz high pass filter and a 160 hertz high pass filter. And this mic does feature a uh, output transformer. Uh, now there is a model above this that's $399 that features multiple uh, polar patterns. Uh, next to it we have the MicTech MK300, another large diaphragm condenser mic that features an output transformer. Uh, this has all three polar patterns and it also has a high pass filter as well as a pad and it is $299. In the middle, we have the Austrian Audio OC16. Uh, this was released this year. No, this was, an, yeah, this was announced earlier this year and released this year. Uh, this is a large diaphragm transformerless mic, and uh, this has a 80 hertz and 160 hertz high pass filter on it, and it is cardioid only. And then next to that, we have the uh, Roswell Mini K 67X. Uh, let me back up to the uh, Austrian Audio OC 16. That is uh, $399. Uh, the Roswell Mini K 67X is the first Mini K mic that features an output transformer on it. Uh, this is $479. And the last mic is a very popular mic that I haven't used before, so I'm glad I'm able to get my hands on it. Uh, this is the Aventone Pro CV12. This is a tube mic, which is the only tube mic in this list, and it comes in at $499. Uh, it has a high-pass filter as well as a 10 dB pad and multiple polar patterns that you can select from the power supply. And there is also a model above this one that is a Black Lion Audio uh, CV12, and that's $699, I think. I think it's about somewhere between six, it's around 600, I believe, uh, if you want to maybe look at a step up above uh, this Aventone mic. All right, let's take a listen to how these sounds. As usual, I'm gonna read some of the product description from each of these mics. And the mic pre I'll be using for this is the Black Line Audio Autour Mach 3. All right, so slight change of plans. I'm using the Black Line Audio Revolution 2x2 interface preamp instead of the Black Line Autour Mach 3, uh, just because it's going to be easier for me to get this into Studio One going right into the interface and getting this on camera at the same time. And uh, I am using a pop filter with this mic only because a pop filter is included with it, which is uh, nice to have a pop filter included with the mic. I don't know many, if any, other mics that include a pop filter. Uh, but I'm going to hit record in Studio One and we'll read some of the product description. 
The SE2200 is the latest version of the award-winning cardioid condenser microphone that put SE Electronics on the map many years ago with its smooth, polished sound for vocals, voiceovers, and numerous instrumental applications. Made famous through the use with world-class vocal artists like Amy Winehouse, it revives the spirit of classic studio microphones and still remains a standard in mic lockers around the world. All right, uh, we're speaking into the Mic Tech MK300 now, and uh, just one thing to note about this mic, it is a heavy mic, uh, so uh, using it with the shock mount, or the shock mount that comes with it uh, can be a task. Uh, but let's read some product description from this. The Mic Tech MK300 large diaphragm FET condenser will impress the most critical listeners and inspire artists to create their best performance. The MK300 features a great capsule, superior electronics, and as with our other condensers, the MK300 includes a sweet output transformer. The microphone features three switchable polar patterns, including cardioid, bidirectional, and omnidirectional. In addition, the MK300 employs a high-pass filter at 100 Hz and a negative 10 dB pad for recording loud sources. All right, so this is the Austrian Audio OC16. Again, this is a transformerless mic, and I think I misspoke earlier when I was talking about the high-pass filters. It has a 40 hertz and 160 hertz high-pass filter. I believe I said 80 hertz and 160. Uh, but let's read some of the product description from this. With the OC16, Austrian Audio introduces a brand new microphone in the Open Condenser Large Diaphragm series equipped with Open Acoustics technology. The transparent and natural sound of the OC microphones, which has been highly praised by the press and users, is the result of the combination of the patented CKR capsule and the Open Acoustics design approach developed by Austrian Audio. Equipped with the handmade in Vienna CKR6 capsule, the OC16 is an extremely flexible all-arounder and can be used on a wide variety of instruments, from drums to electric and acoustic guitars, pianos, wind, string instruments, to vocals. Now we're on the Roswell Mini K67X, and uh, remember this is cardioid only, and it has a pretty sizable output transformer in it for its size, which is pretty impressive. All right, let's read some product description through it. The Mini K67X expands the promise of sonic diversity by introducing a new sound to the Mini K product line. The capsule voicing strikes a balance between neutrality and flattery with tight bass and open top end. The circuit enhances the source with harmonics. The mic retains the point and shoot simplicity of the Mini K lineup. Like all Roswell microphones, the Mini K67X is designed, assembled, and tested in California. And lastly, this is the Aventone Pro CV12 tube microphone. Uh, it's been warming up while I was talking on the other mic, so it should be good and warm now. And uh, let's read some product description through it. The CV12 is a large diaphragm tube-based condenser mic designed to perform like the world-famous European tube mics of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Although the vacuum tube is virtually obsolete, it remains irreplaceable in the audio world. Aventone CV12 utilizes the vacuum tube circuit and gold sputter 32mm diaphragm to full potential. All the warmth, clarity, and richly organic sound reproduction capabilities of Aventone CV12 stands as tall or taller as contemporary favorites or priceless vintage relics for mere dimes on the dollar. All right, so now I'm speaking into my uh, Lawton Audio LS208. And we're going to go back through these five mics that I just recorded through. We're going to play just a little bit of each one, and then we'll discuss them. All right, starting with the SE2200. The SE2200 is the latest version of the award-winning cardioid condenser microphone that put SE Electronics on the map many years ago with its smooth, polished sound for vocals, voiceovers, and numerous instrumental applications. The Mic Tech MK300. The Mic Tech MK300 large diaphragm FET condenser will impress the most critical listeners and inspire artists to create their best performance. The MK300 features a great capsule, superior electronics, the Austrian Audio OC16. With the OC16, Austrian Audio introduces a brand new microphone in the Open Condenser large diaphragm series equipped with Open Acoustics technology. The transparent and natural sound of the OC microphones, which has been highly praised by the press and users, 
Uh, Roswell Mini K67X. The Mini K67X expands the promise of sonic diversity by introducing a new sound to the Mini K product line. The capsule voicing strikes a balance between neutrality and flattery with tight bass and open top end. And the Aventone Pro CV12. The CV12 is a large diaphragm tube bass condenser mic designed to perform like the world famous European tube mics of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Although the vacuum tube is virtually obsolete, it remains irreplaceable in the audio world. All right, uh, so definitely comment and let me know uh, what do you think of these five mics, how they sound on my voice. Uh, so the SE2200, I like the high end on it, but I do feel like it sounds a little rough around the edges. Uh, the MK300, I really like the high end and presence on it, and it's one of my favorite on my voice uh, in this, between these mics. Uh, the Austrian Audio OC16 was as expected. It's a uh, very clean, balanced sound. Uh, I would like to hear more high end out of it. Uh, the Mini K67X has solid uh, low mids. I like the high end on it as well. This is another one of my favorites uh, on my voice uh, for this. And the Aventone Pro CV12 had, uh, I'd want to hear more high end, and I feel it was a little too much low mids i feel like i need to cut some of those uh low mids out uh, but that's my thought on these five definitely comment and uh let me know what you think of these if you have any of these mics comment and let me know how do you like them and if you're thinking about picking up any of these uh let me know as well and speaking of picking them up yeah i will have a link in the description all five of these mics are available at front end audio uh, so i'll have a link in the description for you to check them out and learn more about them or pick them up if you want all right, uh, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. Any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.